firmament shines in an unusual way, as if the universe itself understood the importance of this moment. Today I have begun the creation of Pantea, and these pages will witness its growth, a fantasy place where illness and misfortune will have no place. There, chance will succumb to my will, and every creature and landscape will follow the designs carefully traced by my hand. Threads of the narrative unravel before my eyes, and the people of Pantea defy their destiny. They need a beacon, a guide to direct their destinies. And so, in an act of necessity, I decide to create the fairies. But I cannot do it in the same way as with the rest, for their essence would be the same, and their will equally uncertain. They must be born in the very bosom of Pantea, absorbing its history and being molded by its mysteries. But who could perform such an important task? It's a little fatter. Will he give me strength for my spell? reflection, only one figure rises in my thoughts. I look for Bruna, the witch of the forest, and I propose a deal. Give her the book of knowledge in exchange for her finding the way to create the fairies. But she asks for something else in return. A son. With no alternative, I accept, and she immediately dives into the book in search of answers. Bruna finally found a solution, but the price is huge. In the basement of her abode, the creatures grow in captivity, fed with the very essence of innocence. Children she brings from the outside world that she calls outsiders. I face the contradiction of my creation and keep my part of the deal. I give the witch the child she so craves, while innocent lives die so that I can impose my will. Ha, ha, ha. 
The fairies, now adults, fulfilled their role as guardians of the narrative. However, a tragedy ended this period of calm. Bruna's son fell into the basement and was eaten as if he was just another outsider. Traumatized, the witch breaks our deal and stops taking care of the fairies. Them, deprived of food, succumb to hunger and devour the weak ones, corrupting themselves beyond redemption and becoming monsters without compassion. I tried to relieve the witch's pain by taking the siblings to her abode. However, I got the opposite. She glimpsed in Hansel an echo of her lost son and, driven mad, she devoured the little boy in the attempt to erase those thoughts. The momentary calm she achieved by doing so became a constant need for her, and now, in her delirium, she has returned to capturing outsiders, but she no longer uses them to feed the fairies.
with no other alternative, I led the fairies to Bruna's abode in the hope that they could redirect her destiny. But she, in a desperate act, released the monsters. The fairies, ancient guardians of the Pantea narrative, are slaughtered by those who were once their equals. And now the monsters fly free, unleashing chaos in their path. But today, before giving up on this world, I give the last strokes to my creation and bring a ray of hope to the land of Pantea. Perhaps not everything is lost. Fatty legs and fatty cheeks. Ha 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 ha! 